What's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make a dynamic chart in Excel that will be great for dashboards where at the end we will have five different corresponding buttons and based on the button the user selects, it will the option the user selects, the chart will adjust and change and that's based on this data right here where we have five different values, five different options based on this range right here. So first, what we want to do is we want to write a function that will change based on the option that we select. So let's just say we want to have the second option. We want to have this returned right here. And we're going to do this using the offset function. So basically the offset function in Excel says, okay, given this anchor cell, how many cells, how many rows do you want to offset by? And how many columns do you want to offset by? And how many columns wide do you want to return? And how many rows tall do you want to return? So, um, to do this, we're going to first use equals offset. Open parentheses. We're going to use the top left corner as the anchor. Now, how many rows do you want to offset by? Well, we want to offset the we're going to have return the row corresponding to the option that's selected, right? So we want to offset by two rows in this example. Well, how many columns do you want to offset by? We want to offset just by one column, um, so that we can get the, only this data right here. Now, height. How Tall of, the, of, of a, an array do in return. We only want to return one, um, one, one row. So you can type one right there. And width. How wide do you want this? So for this one, this to be dynamic. So you want a number that just basically counts. Okay, how many um, columns of data is taking up? So you can do the count a function, and then we're just going to highlight this range right here, and then, and as you can see. It looks a little bit funky because it is formatted like date. Um, alt H N N for a number, and then Alt H nine, Alt H nine, and as you can see, I'm gonna be going to Control X, Control V. Um, but yeah, as you can see, so here I have an option, and then the range, and now what we change based on the option, um, the range that's returned changes, and we're gonna have date. And then we're also going to have date, which is just going to be equals what we have as our original data. Now, here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a bar chart based on this data. So we're going to highlight this, these cells, then go to the Insert tab, click on Recommended Charts. I click on Recommended Charts. We're going to click on All Charts. We're just going to click on a bar chart like that. So now, as you can see, um, make this a bit smaller. But now, as you can see, what we based on the option that we select, the bar chart changes. So that's pretty cool. Now we're going to insert buttons. So to do this, you need to have the developer tab um, to insert the buttons. Um, I, I can. There's another video I can link to that will show you how to do this. But for now, but to do this, we're going to click insert, and then we're going to want to click um, radio button. This little dot right here, option button. We're right here. We're going to want to go through and then select. You just we have one option button after you insert it. Copy. We're gonna to want to copy and paste this five times. Um, so just say two, three, four, and then five. And here we have five option buttons, right? And now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and link these um, option buttons to a cell. So to link these option buttons to a cell, we want to format. Click. We want to go to the button, right? Right click on the button, click format control, and then you're going to want to go to all the way to the right where it says control. We're going to click on cell link, and you want the cell to be linked to where we have the option. Go OK. Now, as you can see, basically, we click as the option button, the value in the option cell right here changes, and the subsequently, the values in the graph changes. So that's pretty cool. Um, one quick note is that whenever you insert a buttons like this, it defaults to having them all kind of grouped together, like as you can see right now. But you can adjust them to different groupings. And then to do this, all we want to do is we want to get these the graph and then the option buttons on a different sheet. So we're going to get copy paste this right here. Control X, go to sheet eight, control V. Now 
as you can see, um, the option buttons did break when you did that, so just when you go back to format control, cell link, not just M4, we're going to go back and then uh, re-link the this, this cell. And now, after adjusting the link, as you can see, whenever we click on the button, the chart changes. Now, yes, there is some formatting you want to do. So this is option button one. You might want to say, oh, edit text, option button one. Have this be option button two. You know, option two, option two, control C, edit text, option three, edit text, option five, edit text, option four, then edit text. Um, just clean this up a bit. Option one. We're gonna gonna say um, sales options, and just basically as you click on the different buttons, you can see the chart changes. And of course, you can form this as how you would like, but this is just to kind of show you how you to get the mechanics working. Um, and for you can format this from here further. So, hope you found this to be useful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.